Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to dive into the fascinating world of transient dynamic response. Transient dynamic analysis is a type of structural analysis used in engineering to study the behavior of a structure over time in response to a dynamic load. Unlike static analysis, which examines the structure under constant or slowly varying loads, transient dynamic analysis considers the effects of rapidly changing loads or forces applied over a specified time period. There are significant differences between transient response and steady state response as you can see in the figure and Transient response describes system behavior during the time it takes to reach stability after a change in input. And it focuses on the initial time-dependent phase and it also analyzes parameters like overshoot, rise time and settling time. And it reflects short-term stability and settling characteristics And as you can see in transient dynamic analysis, the goal is to understand how a structure or system responds to dynamic events such as impact, vibration, seismic activity, or any other time dependent loading. And this type of analysis is crucial for designing structures and mechanical components that must withstand dynamic forces ensuring their safety, reliability, and performance. Uh, on the other hand, steady state response describes system behavior after it has reached a stable state in response to a constant or periodic input. And it focuses on the long-term unchanging behavior and it also analyzes parameters like amplitude, frequency, and phase. And obviously it reflects long-term stability and sustained behavior. Finite element analysis um, will be considered in this video, but before that, I want to explain an example and as you can see on the screen I have a figure that illustrates uh, the response of two different controllers and the horizontal axis represents time and the vertical axis represents system response perhaps the position velocity or another relevant parameter depending on your system and application and transient response refers to how a system behaves during the time it takes to reach a stable state and you can see the control effort as con as the input of the system and it's the dynamic journey from the initial conditions to the settled conditions as you can see for two controllers Finite element method uh, allows allow engineers to discretize complex structures into smaller manageable elements for computational purposes and this enables a detailed and accurate simulation of the structural response to dynamic loading conditions. let's see our problem here we have a plate here and we have boundary conditions for this part this part of our instance has been fixed and concentrated force is applied to our plate at this node which is placed on the middle point of the edge and concentrated force has been applied 
to the plate for one second and its magnitude is 800 Newton and we also have mechanical and geometrical features so we create a part and for that I choose 3D type solid and extrusion I enter suitable number and I choose this option in order to create a sketch yeah I determine the dimensions and everything looks okay I choose 205 as depth of, of the extrusion and here I have my part and then I must determine the properties first step I choose mass density and then I must determine Young modulus and position ratio Then I must create a section here and then I can assign a section to my part. Okay, then I can create an assembly from my part I have only one part here and then I can create a step. The step I choose dynamic implicit and I choose time period as one and I must choose number of increments and increment sizes for initial and minimum okay okay for applying the load I need partitioning tools Choose XY plan in order to offset the plan for four point three. I suppose it is suitable, yeah. And using this plan I can partition my part and it will be divided into two different parts as you will see and I choose this one choosing this face here and the plan created here yeah it is done now 
and now I can apply any type of load and boundary condition to any of these two parts so the first step I choose displacement rotation boundary condition and I choose this surface here and I make this surface to be fixed okay okay good as you can see this part has been fixed then I can apply my concentrated force but before that I must determine the middle point of the edge and for this I choose this one and I choose the edge and then by choosing 0.5 the middle point could be determined very easily okay now I can apply the concentrated force here it towards to negative y axis but before that it's worth mentioning that in abacus CAE partitioning refers to the process of dividing complex geometry into simpler one and more imaginable regions or elements this division is done to facilitate the meshing process and to ensure accurate and efficient analysis and you can also use partitioning to apply loads or boundary conditions to specify parts or regions of your model as you saw in this video and partitioning allows you to create distinct regions within your geometry and you can then apply loads or any type of constraints to those individual regions and as you can see this can be useful when you want to focus on a specific areas of your model or apply different loading conditions to different parts okay let's go back to load issues in abacus loads are often represented by vectors as you can see which means they have both a magnitude and a direction and when defining a load you encounter various options for specifying the magnitude for example in constant type the load maintains a fixed magnitude throughout the analysis and if you choose function the load's magnitude is determined by a mathematical function and when you choose tabular as the amplitude for a load you're opting to define the load's magnitude as a function of time using a table of values and this table specifies the load magnitude at various time points allowing abacus to interpolate between these points to determine the load value at any given time during the analysis anyway tabular amplitude is particularly useful when the load's magnitude changes over time in a nonlinear or complex manner and I choose time frequency in the first step these are the times when the amplitude of the force changes zero and zero again
okay everything seems okay and I choose app number one okay you can see the concentrated force and let's go mesh our part O point one is okay and here we go yeah now we can define a job okay and let's submit the job Okay, our simulation has been done and we can see the results here. And as you can see, the stresses are not very significant and we can have the animation of our simulation and in order to plot the results, I suppose we can use xy plots using this one and unique nodal from here we can have three components of displacement vector And from here, I must choose the node I want to plot its displacement vector. Okay. I suppose the magnitude is a better choice. So, again. And again, here we have the magnitude of displacement vector of our specified node. 